Hey, this is Maria with Leapwing Audio. In this video, we're going to be talking about Stage 1. Stage 1 is a great and innovative plugin that allows you to manipulate the full sound stage of your mix. With parameters like width, depth, and mono spread, you can totally change the way an image is perceived within your speakers. You can add dimensions like feeling like it's coming behind the speakers. You can totally spread the image of a sound or even your entire mix without compromising the quality of your mix or adding weird phasing issues. As mixing engineers, we're always trying to find new and cool ways of working with the tracks that our clients send us. In this case, I'm working on this uh, cover version of Rock Your Body by franchise. He's a great artist from the San Francisco area. It is a like a club dance version of it and he's got, done a great job by working on the delays on his vocals. Um, let's take a look at what he's done first. So we just heard the intro of the song. It is very vibey, very atmospheric, as opposed to everything else that's gonna happen afterwards, which is just club music. So for this uh, part, you guys notice that uh, Franchise added two printed delays. One is just a dot delay, and the other one is a regular stereo ping pong effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up stage one to see what I can do with this delays. You'll notice that I am routing both delays to an auxiliary track where I've placed stage one. Um, stage one allows you to manipulate the full sound stage of your stereo image. Um, it, it runs with three different parameters, width, depth, and mono spread. In this case, I'm not gonna use the mono spread since I already know that both of my signals are stereo. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Then I'm left with the width and the depth. One pretty cool thing that I've never seen before is that you have a high pass slider which is locked to the width, meaning that whatever it's, whatever, wherever you set your frequency cutoff, um, the width parameter when you start uh, bringing it up, it's gonna actually affect whatever is above that frequency threshold. So that is pretty cool, especially not in this case in particular, because I don't have a lot of low frequency content going on, but if I did, everything that is low frequency from wherever I set that threshold, it's gonna remain locked at the center and everything else is gonna get spread around the stereo. So you guys noticed how I was able to push that width all the way to 100%, and that was pretty cool. I like the fact that it doesn't sound phasey. I like the fact that it doesn't feel like it definitely left my mix, if you know what I mean. We're always concerned about mono compatibility, and this is a great plugin for that. On the other hand, let's go ahead and try the depth parameter. I love this feeling because this is a tool that, as I said before, it wasn't really available for mixing engineers in such a cool presentation, one slider. It's also connected to another slider, which is the color slider, which basically sort of like, it allows you to, uh, as, as soon as you start pushing that depth slider, uh, you're gonna bring more spaciousness in the, let's say, Z um, axis of your mix, and the color will allow you to bring more of the low content uh, information on that Z area or less of that and more of the high frequency. So let's see what we can do with it.
So this is exactly what I was looking for. You know, as mixing engineers, we're always looking to add that cherry on top of the pie. We're always trying to spice up the mix. And I think stage one does a great job with two simple faders. Before, it took us a lot, maybe using four different plugins, always concerned about phasing issues, and always trying to find that mysterious hidden effect from mastering engineers, like how do they add that depth to our mixes and stuff. Well, as simple as two sliders. So go ahead and visit leapwingaudio.com, download the trial if you have not done it, and please leave us your comments about stage one. We would love to hear them. Thank you for watching. Bye.